what is up guys and welcome once again to another video it's been quite a long time since i uploaded a video but that is because i did not have a gpu for quite a long time i sold my gtx 750ti in order to get an rx 480 now the RX 480 of my choice is the Sapphire Nitro RX 480OC 4GB version. Here are a few pics of the card because why not? I hope you enjoyed those pictures, by the way I would like to tell you that my mobile is not upside down, it's just my case as it is quite average, but no worries, I should be upgrading in just a little while. So the purpose of this video is to show you the performance with this card compared with my 750Ti. Also most of you guys should know that I only have an i3 processor as of now. So it's really nice to see how the i3 handles such a high end video card in the CPU dependent games. Now obviously this is not the highest end video card but it is pretty damn good. If you are unaware of my full specs I will leave them here right now. All right, so the games tested will include Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, Grand Theft Auto 5 and then Star Wars Battlefront. Also in the top right corner of the screen you can see the GPU usage as well as the core clock that it is running on. Below that we can see the memory usage for the video card. Under that is the actual FPS. Then we have the CPU degrees and the CPU usage and below that the RAM usage. Okay so let's jump right into the benchmarks. Okay, so here is Black Ops 3. It is running at 1080p with a 100% resolution scale, obviously. All settings are on the highest except for texture quality, and the reason behind that is because extra texture quality requires more than 4 gigs of VRAM. Then the shadow map quality also is on high and not on extra since it does require more VRAM. Then the order independent transparency is on medium, and the reason behind that as well is because it is one of the the laggiest options in the game and it does even lag with 1070s or 1080s so turn that on medium with every PC and then everything is on the highest except for the analyzing which I have on SMA 1x and that is because I think the other options look blurry to me on a 1080p screen but without further ado go ahead and enjoy the gameplay Okay, so here is Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Now the lightning quality does not go above high for some reason, so high is the highest option. And then the texture quality I have on high since I do not have more than 4 gigs of VRAM and high is recommended. It is 1080p and those are pretty much the settings. Go ahead and enjoy these benchmark over here Spin it up, taking chances while we dancing in the party for show Slip my girl a 44 when she crap in the back door Chickens looking at me strange, but you know I don't care Step up in the smother, just a swank in my head Trick, quit talking, quit walk if you down with the set Take a bullet with some grip and take the smoke on this jet Out of town, put it down for the father of rap And if you happen to get cracked, trick, shut your trap Come back, get back, that's the part of success If you believe in the ass, you be relieving your stress Okay. 
Now this is Star Wars Battlefront with all ultra settings, nothing changed, go ahead and watch the gameplay. Yeah. Here is the last game GTA 5. Now my settings for GTA 5 are obviously not ultra as you can see. By the way very high is the highest option if you did not know. And here is a game that my CPU is limiting me quite a lot. If you didn't know GTA 5 is a CPU dependent game so I did expect these results when buying the card from the beginning. So I'm using something very similar to PS4 settings in 1080p but some slight improvements as well. I am also using long shadows on the extended settings since the PS4 does use them which is quite weird but that does not matter. But without further ado go ahead and enjoy this benchmark. Four. in the sky gazing far into the night i raise my hand to the fire but it's no use because you can't stop it from shining through it's true baby let the light shine through if you believe it's true baby won't you let the light Okay, so those were all of the benchmarks. By the way, something very important that I forgot to tell you that I should have told you in the beginning of this video is the fact that I am recording with Chrism on Relive, which is a new way for AMD hardware, well, AMD GPUs to record, and it is at beta, so you should add 5 FPS to each benchmark. So in the end, comparing this video with a very similar video made with the 750Ti on almost the exact same games, we can see that performance has generally increased quite a lot, as well as the settings used. However, watching the full GTA 5 benchmark, 
you can see that my FPS was extremely similar to the 750Ti. Now yes, I was using better settings than the 750Ti, but the frame rate was the same. Now why is this you might ask? You have an RX 480, you should be getting above 60fps in GTA 5 at all times. Well, the answer to that is that GTA 5 is a CPU dependent game, and in these type of games, my CPU will limit my GPU's potential. Therefore, my GPU will not be run at a high usage, and this will cause a bottleneck. That is what a bottleneck causes. Now is it playable? It is definitely playable. GTA 5, I am thankful for it to run smooth at even 30 to 50 FPS. I even get FPS from 60 to 70 at times, but that is very rare. It is clear that when a lot is going on the screen, my CPU can simply not handle everything and give out the instructions to the GPU to process that. So what is the conclusion to this video overall? The overall conclusion is that yes, while upgrading my GPU did give me a lot more frames in most of my games, the CPU dependent games did not change a lot. But I could set the settings higher and get the same frame rate. So if you have a similar CPU, should you upgrade your GPU first? I definitely say yes, as the GPU is the main, most important part of a gaming PC. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this interesting video. If you want to, you can go ahead and check out the 750Ti video as well. Tell me your thoughts about this video, subscribe if you enjoyed the content, and bye, have a great time. I'm